Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And as you can see right now, this is a picture of a base right here. <laughs> and it is not mine. That's right, this is going to be the first episode of our long-awaited subscriber base reviews. It's been a while since I've done it. Last time I did it, I maybe had 300 subscribers or something. It was a lot easier. But it's gotten pretty hard at this time. Uh, but right now... We are going to be reviewing Woody's base right up here. He's a level 6 Town Hall 8. Guys, all the bases today are going to be Town Hall 8s. Um, so, yeah. Maybe next week I'll do Town Hall 9 and then Town Hall 7, blah, 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 so on and so forth. But as you can see, this is a pretty maxed out base, which is always good to see. I love seeing bases that are maxed out. You can see his Wizard Towers 1, 2, and 3 are all maxed out. Um, as well as his mortars one, two, and three, which is awesome. Um, so definitely awesome job with that, Woodsy. Um, he is level 76, and he's almost maxed out. Now, I'm going to show you guys something in a little bit when dealing with the level where you can tell if somebody's rushed or not just by looking at their level besides looking at anything else. Um, but you can see he is still upgrading his air defenses. Um, do need some... Some work, not that much. I think he can only get maybe one more level out of him, maybe two. Um, all of his cannons are maxed for Town Hall 8, so awesome job with that. Um, and I believe that these are level 9, I don't know, <laughs> archers. So um, pretty much the, the whole thing about this base is that he's doing an awesome job. Was he? This base looks great. Um, obviously you're trophy pushing, you are in crystal one, which is beast, so good job with that. Um, it's good to see that you're also able to store your, um, some of your resources centralized, which is, um, hard to do sometimes when you're protecting your, uh, your town hall, but I also love seeing that the clan castle is right there in the middle, awesome job with that as well. Um, I like the whole layout of the base, you have everything spread out very good, you have your archers, one, two, three, four, and five, all the way around the base. Um, so good job with that. That is very important to spread out your point defenses. Um, as well, you did the same thing with your cannon. So great job with that. Um, your, as you can see, your um, your mortars are triangulated, as are your wizards, and as are your air defenses. So that's perfect, man. I really can't think of much else that you can do. Um, looks like you're upgrading your walls really, really well. I know that's going to take forever. It's going to take so long, but um, it's really good to see that you're doing that. I know that you're not going to regret it. So awesome job, Woodsy. Great. I give it a 9 out of 10 because it's not fully maxed, but hey, man, I wouldn't even give my base a 9 out of 10, so great job. Let's move on to the next one, guys. We are going to do Puff the Dragon. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's um, Let's zoom in on this a little bit. I'm using Photoshop to do this if y'all were wondering. Um, so we're going to zoom in on this one and um, as you can see his, he's a Town Hall 8 as well obviously. Um, his wizards are maxed as are his mortars and they are triangulated so right off the bat that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. He is um, farming right now so that's why his Town Hall is down here at the bottom. His clan castle is directly in the middle as you can see right there which is great. Awesome job with that. Um, that's exactly where it needs to be. And he really doesn't have that much more maxing out to do. All of his cannons are maxed, his mortars are maxed, his wizards are maxed. Um, and he is upgrading his, uh, his air defenses as you can see as well. So once those are done and then he gets to the archers, then he's going to be good. Um, really the only other thing you have to worry about is your walls. Looks like you still have, um, some lower level ones for Town Hall 8. Um, but you're getting there, man. So this is a really, really good base. I like the layout of it. You have your archers and your cannons spread out very well around the base as well. Um, so great job with that. I really can't see too much I would do besides continue upgrading everything as you are. You're doing awesome. Um, this base definitely looks good. So great job with this one as well. Let's move on to the next base, guys. That was Puff the Magic Dragon, or Puff the Dragon, whatever it was. <laughs> Looks like somebody has iOS 7 up here. <laughs> um, but this is Brian. That's his game center, so I guess you guys can friend him if you want to. Um, but this is Brian. He is level 64. Um, he is a Town Hall 8 as well. And he is still upgrading, obviously. His wizards are not maxed yet. 
Um, his walls look pretty good for Town Hall 8. Um, obviously, they still have two levels to go, but um, a lot of people at Town Hall 8 um, are still at uh, lower lower level walls than this. So great job with that. That's looking good. You do have your wizards 1, 2, and 3 all triangulated, so great job with that as well. Um, same with your mortars. However, your mortar, um, it looks like this one um, and this one, like they've started the triangle, but this one, it, it doesn't really make a triangle. I would consider taking this one and moving it right here where this gold is. Sorry, that arrow kind of sucks. Um, but I would consider moving that right there where that gold is um, and just switching those two out so that you can have more of a triangle um, with your mortars because this area up here um, where's my pin? It's lagging. This area up here probably isn't covered um, by mortars, so I would definitely think about trading those out. Um, your base is very symmetrical, as you can see, and everything else um, is in a perfect triangle like that. That's a good triangle right there. Um, your air defenses, however, it doesn't look like they they are not in a triangle as well. I'm not sure if you moved this one out because it was upgrading or not, um, but I would definitely try and triangulate those because at Town Hall 8 you're gonna get a lot of aerial attacks and you wanna make sure that you can um, protect your base from dragons and balloons and uh, minions and so forth and so on. Um, but I do like the design, I like, I this is the way I tend to build too, I always make like, it's almost a square or a diamond. Um, I don't know why, I just like building like that. So I definitely like this, it, lo it looks like one that I've made in the past, a couple months ago, I'm not sure what I called it, but it reminds me of that one. Um, anyways, I like the overall design of it. It looks good. Definitely work on upgrading your wizards next. I see that you are um, upgrading this air defense up there, which is good. But I would definitely consider um, and urge you to upgrade your wizards next because splash damage is so very, very important. Um, and then I would move on to cannons because they take less time They give you and they give you more damage um, than archer towers do when you upgrade them. I believe that it takes Archer Towers, uh, I don't know, almost three times as long as the cannon. So definitely go with the cannons next. Get those all up to gold, um, and then you're going to be looking good. But, yeah, man, it's a good base for, um, you're probably a new Town Hall 8. You, you're at level 64 up here. So it looks good. And as always, uh, yeah, keep keep upgrading and, and working your way up. Looking good, man. Next we have... I beat you, sorry. And this is what I was talking about earlier, okay? So you've seen that a lot of the other people, so he's level 49, you've seen a lot of the other people are in the 70s or in the 60s. Um, that's one way that you can know somebody has rushed um, because they are at a higher town hall for their level. Um, so as you can see, let's zoom in on this a little bit. Stop it. <laughs> let's zoom in on this a little bit um, and get a little bit closer in to the base. Um, so as you can see, uh, the, his, a lot of his stuff is still, like, I believe that these might be level th three, maybe level four, um, and they can be level six. Um, same with these out here. So you definitely just reached, um, Town Hall eight because, um, these guys are out here. So that means that you, you decided to rush. These Archer Towers up here, um, are very low as well. So you definitely rushed. Um, just make sure you don't do that again <laughs> because, it's going to get a lot harder for you. Um, there are a couple things that I would change to this base. As you can see, it's very long. Um, it's, it's a very, very distinct diamond, which means that people can get to the inside um, easier because there's less blocking them off. Um, one thing I noticed is that you have three cannons right down here, and you have two archer towers right up here. Uh, you need to spread those out around the base because it's going to make it a lot more effective. I don't think that these cannons down here are going to be doing that much for you. So honestly, I would um, move this army camp out right there. Just just get that army camp out um, and make another wall right around here or so um, on both sides. And put your cannons in there. Put two of those cannons in there. Um, just because right here they're not protecting that much. All they're really protecting is this. Um, and the and your other resources right there. So I would definitely um, consider moving those cannons around, shifting them, um, and just taking care of that a little bit better because right now it's really, really long. Um, next, I would not do all your gold and all your elixir like this because if I came to your base to attack and I wanted gold, I would just drop right here and get a lot of your gold. 
um, pretty easily. So what you need to do is you need to spread it out all the way around the base like this. Spread out your gold. I always preach this in my videos. Um, and then put some like army camps and barracks and all that kind of stuff in between it so that that way if someone comes to your base and they're looking for gold they can't just lazy farm it as it's called they have to actually um, try so I would definitely do that but overall man you, you gotta upgrade your defenses um, splash first so upgrade your mortars and your wizards first and then work on the others um, you can definitely upgrade your archer towers uh, pretty easily because I believe that for you to upgrade from this to the next level it might be a day um, maybe maybe um, it's not going to be that much, so you can definitely do that, but um, overall, I mean, I would do those tweaks. I would, I would, I would build a little section right here um, and probably get rid of this and get rid of this and make it more of a square and just reorganize it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the last base review, guys. It is going to be Junior Jono. Um, I keep doing that. <laughs> let's zoom in on his base as well. Um, now, obviously, he is um, trophy pushing right now because his town hall is in the middle. Um, one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that these air defenses are really, really close, which isn't really good. You need to um, have them in a triangle, almost like this. Um, so it should be around here, but if you put it right there, it's going to be too close to the wall. Uh, so I would definitely figure out some sort of way to get this air defense um, somewhere else that is better than where it is right now. <laughs> uh, it looks like your wizards are in a triangle and your mortars are in some sort of a triangle right now. Look at that star. Um, so good job with that. You definitely have some upgrading to do. Your wizards are low. Um, these two might be level four or five and this one's either level three or four. Um, so definitely work on those. I see that you have some some higher level walls, I wouldn't be spending your gold on that at this point when you have low level wizards. You definitely need to upgrade those. Um, for some reason, I don't know why people always do this, but they, they're afraid to upgrade their wizards or they just decide not to when they do awesome damage. Like right now, all of your archer towers are almost maxed and your wizards are way, way off. So I would stop upgrading the other stuff. You even have gold cannons at this point. So <laughs> all of those are maxed and your wizards are, are down here suffering when they do so much damage and it's splash damage too. So um, I definitely wouldn't have done it that way. But I mean, now they're all upgraded. You're just lagging behind when it comes to um, the splash of the wizard. So definitely upgrade those next. Um, and I think that you will be looking pretty good. Your base is pretty symmetrical from the looks of things it makes a, a little square <laughs> um, so you you definitely did a good job at that you also have your clan castle centralized which I really really like to see um, but something needs to be done with these with these air defenses I don't know what it is um, I, I honestly can't can't tell you but I would almost think of maybe moving this one right here and this one right here because it's still pretty protected when it's there um, and then I don't know bring your bring something else inside and then try and figure out some way to um, to to get your your other one either triangulated up here or triangulated down here um, and then I think you'll be sitting pretty good uh, so I mean you're it's good that your archers and your cannons are upgraded so definitely an awesome job with that, I just would have gone um, with my wizards first, but that's pretty much all. Overall, the base looks pretty good. You still have upgrading to do with that and just try and figure out what you're going to do with your air defenses. But overall, man, I like the way that it looks. As always, guys, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I really do appreciate it. You guys are so much cooler than me. Thank you for everything. Um, and as always, guys, keep calm and clash on for me, all right? I'll see you later.